And new tonight, some hot dog stand owners are un hot under the collar, angry. They suddenly have to pack up and move out from streets near Coors Field. Mark Stewart is live, and Mark, many of them have been there for years. And, and you can understand why, because we are just footsteps away from Coors Field. In the words of one hot dog vendor, a small business is big business. Dollar hot dogs, bacon wrapped dogs. Brats mean big bucks for Nick Denaitza, but these days he's selling his signatures far from his usual spot near Coors Field. Opening day is sidelined at 19th and Wazia. And he isn't alone. Nearly a dozen other vendors have been forced from their usual perch near the baseball diamond. I am not allowed to operate at this location. Despite the fact food carts have been on the perimeter for at least five years, the city has suddenly decided to enforce a city ordinance that says they can't. For whatever reason, lost touch with that, that part of the agreement and we allowed some vendors to come in. We noticed the mistake um, the last year. Those vendors usually operate year round, late at night, long after the games. They feel the city needs to step up to the plate and let them keep their prime place. Let businesses benefit from the fact that the stadium is bringing in people and not shoo or push the people away. You know, I just want to go out and sell hot dogs. That's all I want to do. And I asked the city, how was this change initiated? Did someone complain? They say it happened during a routine review of this ordinance, which is actually going to expire in just a few months. The city maintains that they will help these vendors relocate, in fact, even pay for some of their permitting fees that they have to pay annually. Live downtown tonight, Mark Stewart, 7 News.